it is worth to hold on to the right move to bring better ways. No, we are born to exceed, even if all we are so much more than we thought to be, so much more to be. I forgot to unmute. I I wasted my opening. But hello, welcome everyone. This is our different schedule, not your usual time. And let me put up the volume again. Boop. All right, welcome back to On Guard, featuring Sundays. Apparently, a lot of people do work on Saturdays, so Sunday is our temporary new schedule. As I'm studying right now, which is very fun. Lots of review to do, but I uh, hope everyone is having a good time. Today, so let's check the player list. I said the stream matches already, so go play your matches. For those who are streamed, you should probably be able to see yourself, and I sorted out most of the stuff already. So go, go play your matches. Shoot. First one we're gonna have is uh oh yeah, it will be Mr. Big Mac Tito. Uh, versus Broco at the start. So we're gonna have them on the room. No, it's not. <laughs> it's not. Not be We changed. <laughs> Let's see. So it will be Big Mac FPS Live versus Broco. P1, P2, Password 2. I hope everyone enjoyed the song earlier. I was farming LTQ a bit too much. <laughs> Belial 1, you have a yeah. And the funny part is. The opponent is playing Avatar Belial. Suck it down, players. This guy just busted. I've been telling you guys. I keep telling you guys, Avatar Belial is viable. You guys, you, you, uh, you guys can't, can't convince me otherwise. And uh, yeah, Belial is just really strong. This patch, you got a lot of tools. He can play Rising really well. And 5U is really good if you know how to use it. You gotta learn a bit. I wouldn't say it's as hard or nuance that Sora's is flex. But 5U is really strong, especially against characters like Versusia. It starts up at like three frames. It's like parry on three frames, which is really crazy for what it is. Crit playing 5U addiction. Well, it's fair, it's fair. <laughs> oh no, we got a straggler. Some guy thought it was uh thought it was 9 p.m. Unfortunately it isn't. And we're going into first match really quickly. Grimner got a few changes, but in the end, it didn't really matter. The character is still really, really strong and highly regarded. Has a lot of freedom with movement and also Oki. 
got the wind seals and he is actually really good at the zoning department and just choosing when to go in in general although there are a few knowledge checks i feel players need to look out for for example his wind dash being minus two unless he's doing it in the air that's really useful to know especially if you're a new player we see some rising action right away just constantly brave countering each other just spend the resources dp going through should have brave countered instead EXDBs are safe jump, uh, safe jabable after all. Gets hit by the low, no fuzzy mash on Broco's and, and should be able to end it confidently with 100 meter from those two attacks. Join them! Very nice looking super, except for the fact that it blanks on the entire screen in that moment. But here you go, first match going to Tito, dash out going right away. Speaking of dash outs, um, it is really nice for uh, Grimner to have a f uh, far out as a standing low. It really synergizes well with his kit overall. And also his far heavy, because he can do dash out, far out into far heavy. Really good anti-BC string, and we see those counter hits here. Uh, it is not Avatar Belial, I was gonna say that, but Belial. Pressure sticky as always. Is gonna go for the reset with the medium DP. Tries to go for a grab. Easy punish. This is Belial's defensive potential, but he screws up the combo. He did not go for the super. Oh, okay, whatever. Everyone's switching here. Everyone's stacking throws. We're playing Street Fighter over here. Starting off with the Durango Basto. Look at that. Like, Belial just has so many tools to work with. You got like, oh, is it just an orange character? And he's just getting smushed non-stop, but drops the combo. Not sure if it's the net play being jank and stuff, but we're starting off with the Southeast Asia special, just scrambling all the way, going in with the wind dash. We're playing bang here. Free entry, no anti -airs. and tries to put back. Nice use of the far heavy, not getting the first hit though, so no special cancel, still save minus three. Looks really good for Tito over here. Look at the dashes. Delay overhead. It seems like it. Crosses to the other side, but gets punished. Pegging again, but... Ooh, Broco getting so many opportunities, but not managing to finish them. Honestly, he's doing quite well. He's getting a lot of the hits, if not more hits. He's just not converting them at all. Perhaps this is the blood of a scrambly player, you know? They, they just can't stop scrambling. And they don't like to hit confirm. Wake up, throw. Oh, that far heavy don't look good, but nice use of the 5U and then the side swap with the light rising sword. Still gonna get hit by the frosted in another wake up throw. I thought people only play like this at night, but apparently we're just scrambling all the way, and this is not how you do it. You know that fuzzies don't work like that in this game. You can't do anti jump stuff. Nice use of the movement, but not a large conversion. First hit, and I and Broco keeps dropping his combos. He's addicted to dropping his combos. And that's that's not even safe a block. He, if he manages to block that, don't, don't press a button. He would have gotten the round there. Broco addicted to dropping combos right now. All right, another start. Another aggro play and catches the fly, the float with the 5U. Just as was, I was saying earlier, 5 you're just such a versatile tool, you can't just put down projectiles randomly. Using the 2M for an Abari, 6 frames, but quite stubby. Nice bait by Tito, pushing him to the corner, just one more turn left, the fuzzy. Bro gets caught with the back at Shimmy and 100 meter, plenty to play with, still not gonna kill one health probably. Yeah, one elf left, but super favorable position for Mr. Big Bag FPS Live and the slide will finish him off. Nicely done by Tito. Yep, unfortunately, Broco just dropping combos no stop. <laughs> he got a lot of good hits as well. Like, you got fuzzy throws, you got cross ups and stuff. I'm not sure if it was a net, net play thing, but it is what it is. <laughs> All right, let's go into a second match. Sorry for the sniffles. We're gonna have YD KFP, FKP, KFP. Um, let's see. Some guy is PMing me. Who is this guy? Uh, let me check. Oh, he's not in the server, brother. Some guy. Okay, but I. What, one of the guys is not in the server apparently. So let me go sort that out really quickly. Let me get them in the room. Yep, give me a bit. 
sorry. One guy isn't in the server. Brother, you aren't. Server. All right. Remember to join the server. I don't know why you wouldn't anyway. Let me get that invite. Okay, let me invite those two people first while one of our participants tries to find where the server is. Why? D. K. F. P. And S. J. Weeb, who has had quite good performances recently, actually. Like, normally, I don't think his playtime is that high. A lot of people, not a lot of people play Saurus, so it's like one of the few Sauruses in this region. You got S. J., you got Blazer, you got. You got, uh, our, our Canadian friend, you got... Yeah, not a lot of people actually playing Saurus, even though he's quite a fun character, quite a basic character. And Saurus can, is really capable of playing solid basics. Dasho is really good. Far L is a low, which is really annoying. And he has a 7 frame, he has, he has got, like, everything. Except for, like, gap closing. <laughs> yeah, admittedly, his gap closing is not the best. Other than the punch, punch is, like, really good by itself. But the problem is... You got like projectiles, some characters just out foot see him and then like, it just becomes really troublesome for Soros. But to compensate, he has quite a few good tools and buttons. His active frames are quite good, especially like the far medium. The far medium wall is a pain in the ass to deal with. <laughs> Alright, I think I might have spotted a person play ranked. Oh, someone can't play rank. Let's see. <laughs> oh, never mind. Like some people just did not look at the thing. Let's just wait for them to enter. So it'll be a Sor maybe a Saurus mirror match. Hello, Mister Aokiyuya. I can't tell. I can't tell like what usernames are what. Uh, so let me ban some of the the uh, the bots. Oh, hi, Mister Supremacy. How are you doing today? I don't know what time it is in Thailand, by the way. I actually don't know the time zone. YDKFB won't be on the Saurus. He will be on the Anilla. Haven't seen an Anilla in ages. I'm stuttering by words. But Anilla is a solid character. I've been always saying, funnily enough, probably a beginner trap because of the moves that she has, especially after the second um, second patch. They buffed her 6-6-H, which became a really obnoxious move that new players fish for. And then... Uh, well, uh, th there we go, but he didn't convert it. It does a lot, a lot of damage. And SG with a nice anti-air conversion, saving a lot of the cooldowns from punch. And another one, <laughs> just fishing for those hits. But SG does not confirm that. Crouch into the million punch is still dropping combos over here, but getting the damage in. YDKFP. Oh my god! Oh, <laughs> don't not play! Oh, Jesus! <laughs> SJ is not brain countering! Just gonna chip it out slowly. Don't do anything stupid. Punch it once. Oh no! Drops the combo and the end here. SJ did it so late as well. The grand here. Still gets the first round with that Sutter. I still can't figure out what he's saying in that line. I just hear Gundam! But that's clearly not the line. It's just waiting for that end here and that autocorrect doing work. It's so convenient to have a light special into autocorrect. With Lancelot, it's a pretty tricky situation. And what's up, Tigger Bob? Haven't seen you in ages. What up, what up? Nice, look at that. that. Just the 2L into far is really nice. Even though Sora's far out is 7 frames, it's quite slow compared to other far outs. Oh my god, he's just getting smashed in the face. He's dead. 1, 2. Alright, never mind. He doesn't even do the swag combo. Boo! Do the do the cool looking couple, man. Anyway, there's the first round to SJ and 
And Nilla versus Soros resumes. Haven't seen a quarter BMB yet. Oh my god, he's going for the overhead. SJ once again anti ring him out. Don't even, don't even need the whip. Look at that damage and nice reset into super, super plus close heavy. That's already plus. You can make it more meaty. And the combo limit will stop him from balling him further. YDK FP it does have full meter now. Let's see how he uses it. Break out just once. What? Not going for this. Not going for the ultimate sheep to keep the knockdown. As you just harassing a lot. And that's a free punish. Goes for the down. Sure. Battle two. Alright, second round coming in. SJ playing aggressive. Grady KFP does not confirm that counter hit far heavy, which is normally a quite a good damage opener for Anilla. Although Anilla admittedly does not have the best mid screen. Adjusting that combo impromptu tries to not whip, but SJ ends up missing that combo from that fishing. Just like Anilla with the far heavy, both players just like swinging for a counter hit. Tries to get that anti air with the close medium. Unfortunately, does not get it. Still gets a hit in. DP used YDKFP. Wow, SG just counter poking on YDKFP's turn. Oh my yo, and one more turn, he's that counter hit. Unfortunately, does not go for the close medium. That does not reach. Oh, 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 Jesus Christ. I felt the hit. Buster Sheep. One health remaining, SJ. Will you DP? Will you ultimate punch? What will you do? Goes for the install instead. Does not use meter anymore compared to Vanilla. He jumps! Runs up! Grab! Does it connect? It does not! He still has the life to play with. Oh my god. I thought it. I thought he just couldn't catch up. But in the end, he did 2 0 to SJ. Kind of scrambly on both sides. You went bent. Let me report the scores. And how are you doing, Thicker Bomb? What have you been playing recently? I haven't seen you in a while. And you're not even in the same region. That's the funny part. Let's boop. Let's get some people out. Servia. And... Jerimus. All right. Oh, okay. Uh, I've already, uh, unfortunately, has some technical failures. I'm sorry. Okay, I'll DQ you. Uh, I, th I type DPU. <laughs> I'll DPU just the same. Okay, let's see. Alright, some just let's see. My first on stream game is this. <laughs> I mean, everyone has their first. It's no biggie. I thought you would play Saurus though. Let's try to get our man in here. I don't know why he is not in the server, but All right. Clear. Let's go with the next one. It'll be Oni versus Joss Kido. Oni. Boop. And then Joss Kido. Joss Kido being the scramble god pre previously. I can't wait to see what more he has cooked up. Only not new to the scramble scrambliness himself either with the Charlotte. <laughs> It'll be round three. And we're gonna wait for a couple people to come in. <laughs> A 
any Versusia mains. Uh, I think I play a decent amount, but I played after I spammed Versusia, I found out that her matchup against Soros is kind of hard to play. And Belial is probably one of the worst matchups in the game for her. <laughs> and then I just say I just I I just tried other characters as well. Lucilius is quite fun. <laughs> Whoops, sorry. Sniffles. Deadlock. Oh Jesus. We're not talking about that game started with a D over here. But yes, Versusia is really fun. I do have a lot of thoughts about the character. It is one of the more... Like, if you want to play vanilla, you ever want to have a taste of vanilla, then you play <laughs> Versusia, right? Because you don't got them dash L's. You got the long-ranging buttons. You can tap people and fence, which is really nice. You, We haven't had that feeling in ages. What character have you seen the least of the entire roster? I'm not sure, actually. Probably 2B. And here, Joskido actually on... Oh yeah, I remember now. I remember the Joskido versus uh, 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 Sword match. It was a bit hilarious. Like Both players were just screwing around at that point. Uh, Oni has transferred from his usual UL pick in Rising to Beelzebub. Beelzebub being a more well-rounded character, I would say. Just get it out to do more things, and especially in this patch, his 214, the jump version, the Unisonic, is separate from his Chaos Caliber cooldown. Yes, he was both a domain in, in vanilla, not in Rising. Alright, let's see how he starts the round. Beelzebub has a lot of ways to start up with plus frames and also engage, as you can see there. There's a lot of ways to keep players out, and the counter hit pulls he has are really good. Funnily enough, one of the <laughs> fuzzy characters in the game, and look at that conversion, so so nice. And the counter here coming through against the fuzzy match. He has the super available, probably just gonna tap him for that. Checkmate! Perfect by Oli. Haven't seen him with a clean round in a long time. I'll be honest, we haven't had him on stream. We haven't had him on the Beyonds above for a while. Huge jump and the DP. I think Josquito just did a block. No punish, no nothing there. He's in the projectiles to keep him. And Oni is showing that he's gonna use that and probably for 66H or Chaos Caliber. Really good sequence and here here. Compared to the old one, it's not as consistent. Unfortunately, that's the trade-off you get. Push him to the corner right away and Unisonic being used. Oni has no cooldowns until now. He has the Raging Strike, but does not continue with the combo. Smashes him in the head, tries to continue with the unisonic combos in the air easily not on the ground Joskido can't not quite getting in finding a lot of difficulty he's relying on the on the projectile the 236 to get in a lot so he's just jumping right now manages to get only in the corner though and the counter hit on minus four he gets a lot of damage from this close heavy oh somehow misses out on the fireball but i guess let's see what he can do with it Oh, never mind. It's a kill anyway. Simple and easy. Only fumbles a bit. Gets put into the corner. And not quite controlling Joskito well. This is probably one of his downfalls, in my opinion. Just not quite consistent at keeping players in the corner. Jumping a lot, as you can see here. JU, you gotta hit it really deep to get a combo as well. Nice use of the EX Fireball. No punishes. Still... Not not a full punish, but still hurts a lot because just how Bay Dragon is. Nice use of the low poke and just get the missing out on distance, not using the ultimate or can right. flies in successfully and that wasn't even a punish. Both players are low as hell. He tries to go for the grab, but he went for the SWAT is in! Again! Oni losing a lot of the life lead over here, smashes him with this. Chaos Caliber smushes him in the face, doesn't even need to do that. If the new patch, you can just do close heavy. Dashes in the corner. DP, air unblockable. One more turn for Joskino. Can he get this round? DP against the Orkan. Oni will clutch it out for himself. Immediate rematch. Oni had a lot of control in both of those, like three of those rounds throughout the entire game, but Joskido 
Just managing to get that damage deficit and change the position. Nice catch on the using the two three two one four L uh, medium. My bad, I'm fumbling. How you deal with that is that you actually do auto combo into high, and you can somewhat mix it up with the low chaos caliber, the low super so yo. All right, smokes him in the face, pushes out him out. Ultimate fireball dodges, nice timing, but I don't think this will hit. Just just blocking everything, and look at that decent decent punish from that distance. And once again, the counter pull gets hit by the Unisonic. Another ultimate projectile has been a problem in previous times. Gets paid is so hard, but Oni does not get a lot of damage from this strength. Can he kill it? No, obviously not. That shall delay. Baits out the DP. Oni gets the punish. Oh wait, whoopsie. I think I got the score wrong. <laughs> Alright, fuzzy mash with the 2L. Raging Strike. Even though they nerfed that so that the scaling is worse, it counts as a third hit. Still a very versatile tool for auto confirming MBC. Only looking for the jump, trying to create some noise with his shenanigans. Catches the 2U, the sweep from C, the guy looking one. Smashes him in the corner. Only jumping with the Unisonic. Here we go, but gets caught by the projectile, taller than most. Just Kido saving up the EX cooldown. But will he be able to make use of it? Oni catches his dodge on the projectile. Unblockable setup, and Just Kido is left with one health. Goes for the hail. Mary Super gets it to hit. One more situation. Will he add here? He is too late. And that's the finish. Oni will equalize the set. Oh, wait, no. That's a 2-0. My apologies. This will be 2-0. Got a bit mixed up. The matches were a bit chaotic. So Oni will proceed to go play Lon, who demoted Mamiya and Instagram. Next one, we're gonna have the liner versus Balza. Ah, uh, Balza, what will you play today? Now, every time I have him, I don't even know what's gonna happen. That's the beauty of this guy. We're streaming two times today. I just realized. Oh, salary! Oh no! Hope you have fun though and learn something. Let's see. You're still waiting? <laughs> Alright, first hour will actually go 2-0 against Sod, which is not expected, honestly. Let's check the scores. Let's look at the bracket. I don't have a plugin to, like, display the entire bracket, which is unfortunate. I'm not a wizard. Not a programming wizard yet, but Box will be fighting TFE Llewellyn. Being our sensational Ladiva last time, we'll be fighting your Requiem. Oh, 2B! Speaking of characters we don't see often, we got 2B here. 2B, one of the villains of the patch, I guess you could say. People, people were, were complaining about the character full time. And Bowser won't be on this character. Enter. Short range attack here. True. <laughs> Fitting for a grappler player. Let's see how Bowser will handle this character. And the lighter having the Grand Sword. Grand Percival. Killed more. Do you guys do your unite and fight? Please report salary for slacking, by the way. Believe in victory. <gasps> oh, let's go. Grit check. Going for the immediate charge up and Balsa using his large buttons to his advantage. And look at that. No combos. Just gonna do solid damage. And that does not go away on block. You gotta be careful. Balsa does not confirm that low. Just keep himself up. up. One. One. Said I said hit. So, so painful. Tries to get the end here. And, oh no, that's not an anti. That's a five heavy. He's just waiting for the distance. But Balsa is gonna say, you should eat mine instead. Uses the wrong button for the combo, gets the low. Does not get that confirmed. And sets the carpet for himself. Gonna buy himself some time. 
and oh, catches the forward boop, but with the tether, the liner was not ready for that. What the? First round goes to Balza. Surprising, surprising development of the round. You think that Balza would just attack non-stop, but apparently not. Catches him with the movement precisely and the really deep jump heavy. Unfortunately, not quite the nice combo, but auto detonates. New patch, and that hurts a lot. Drops the combo still. Did I just see a command grab from the liner? Wake up, command grab. You know Percival's one is short as hell. Goes for the double jump, not even the air stall. Oh, that is hilarious. Moving scooching. Uses the stock though, so not the ideal situation. Does not confirm it into a DP or a 2 on 4 HL. Which still which still juggles without stocks. He's moving back and forward a lot, but by doing that, you actually waste a lot of time building meter. Walking forwards is one of the most efficient ways to build meter, as Bowser just gonna finish it off. Stutter, uh, a sprinkle in that stutter a little bit. Smashes him in the face. The liner will go one down on the Percival. Believe in victory. Battle one. Engage. Nice catch with the far medium, really strong button, but balls are gonna dash it with that medium button. Tries to check it with the far heavy, good choice, but the liner is still stuck in the corner. Balls are not confirming his hit. And whoa! Far heavy into the DP. The liner respecting that shockwave and the will trade. Getting that throw in. The liner, one stock. Going for more. Gets the slide. Knocks him back. Balls are still forcing his way in and will go for the super. Goes not a lot of damage because it is a light starter. Does as much as a corner BNB, if not less. The shock. Oh, God, this is moving. You do not move against the shocks. Battle two. Engage. Just swanging his buttons with castleable as well. A bit too high for any confirms though. Oh, the punish on the sweep. Not castling into any options. Tries to get a fuzzy probably, but huge counter hit by Balza. Gets the wall bounce you. Drops the combo. You gotta cook him here. Guard crush. Balza, one, two, one, two. Push himself out of the corner. Still in the corner though. Smacks him in the face with the heavy once again. Crouch confirmed. Will he able to be able to end it? Probably. Does so much damage after all. And that would be 2-0 for Bowser. Still a bit clunky with the character. But Bowser nonetheless still gets a 2-0 over the liner. Alright. Let's see how... The games will progress. Losers is a bit slow today. Slow day down there. As we see Broco encroaching uh, through the loser set. Mamiya as well. Pierce GG's, Igisox GG's. And Kozaki. Probably on the. <laughs> I don't know. I don't even know anymore. I don't know if he's on the Avatar Belial. I don't know if he's on the Grimnir. That guy's an anomaly. He plays whatever is funny, I guess. Anything that's available and is funny. All right, next one. We're gonna have TFE versus Re your Requiem. Haven't seen this matchup in ages. Wonder what TFE will play. TFE has been having good performances recently. But again, the question is, how consistent can he be? This will be on Losers Quarterfinals. No, winner's quarterfinals. My my bad. And on the other side of winner's quarterfinals, actually we got first hour 2 0 ing sod and having a good performance as well. First hour has been doing quite well. If it's losers, I'm obviously below. <laughs> what do you mean, obviously? <laughs> so do you. <laughs> losers is usually where like people bring out their like solid characters, right? But this guy chooses the other side. I will filter these people out, I will blow them up. That's the Air Force. I get a dime on him. <laughs> Not allow any upplay. No, I mean downplay on Avatar Blood. That guy is busted. Yeah, that, if you think about it, he got all the tools you need to play the game. That is true. 
He has the damage output to come back at any time. How many participants today? I think it was like 32, 33, I don't know. Not as many as last time. Last time we got a lot. Probably due to the new patch. But we're still getting consistent number of players coming up. As long as you come, I will keep hosting. If you want to look at the bracket, you can see the auto chat or use the command. <laughs> Alright. Belio. Using the new skin as well. Obviously. And if side games allows it, we will allow it. Show me your balls. TFE on the new skin. Your Requiem. No helmet. Gets tagged with the projectile right away. Go with here. One of the best projectiles in the game because he can't just dodge it. Uses the DP, keeps his other cooldowns, especially as Modias, which is really valuable. Bades out the DP, close heavy punish, and going for the new combo, the 2 3 6. Medium starter. Hard knockdown. Look at that damage. Belial. Alright, huge buffer with the 2F into Vage Vagan. Still not gonna stop TFE from doing a reversal and putting him back in the corner. Look at those setups. Look at the bait. Just dodge that. Oh yeah, just gotta go for the far heavy super. Dodging seeks attack there. Actually keeps him in the corner, pretty sure. Which is the more optimal choice. Tobi smacks him. Minus three. Such a profoundly strong defensive button. And at that distance, it wasn't a bad choice to go for the parry because it is minus seven after all. But Lyle has a lot of choices to punish and or cut. Both players scrambling it a little bit. Brave counter still hasn't been used yet by your Requiem though. He's been stuck in these defensive situations so much. And look at that. Choosing to mash this down. Brave counter eating a two web counter him. Look at that. Corner. Gonna go for the reset. Doesn't need to spend super early on. Gonna opt to spend. And later on for the pressure or the reversal situation there fuzzy mash into the raging strike a bit too high for the corner swap still gets that counter on the dash out dfv just dominating the neutral space right here smash him in the face one more we're not playing persona one zero to tfv smooth game for him direct with not even getting to spend his resources on defense Right, nice start. Counter hit into Orkan. Let's see what he goes for. He goes for the stock up. Walks back. Does not kick. Yeah, before the shimmy. And look at those resets. Just re disrespecting his pressure so, so much. Oh, minus four. That's gnarly. Delay for heavy. And it's nine frames as well. Same frames as his normal heavy. So, so strong. Side swap. DFB aiming to... Put your Requiem in the corner. Look at that. Just forcing him to move back so much. Belau, good forward movement. Good backwards movement. This character is insane. Look at that. Backwards movement. Plus five on that. Reset as well. The pressure of this character is insane. Crouch combo. No super reset incoming. Your Requiem still can't get back from this. Dodges the dash heavy. And look at that. Movement catch with the ultimate Asmodeus. Well. This character just has so many plus frames and ways to play around the opponent. <laughs> TFE playing his distance, not gonna allow any dash shells or, well, DPs by your equip. Pushing the corner with the Asmodeus this time around. Gonna give him a song knockdown and look at that. Stagger pressure whip punish on the 2M. Super available. This is the combo though. Finally, Brave counter from the Requiem, but it is all for naught as he eats a crouch. Oof. 100 meter available. 1-2. Never seen that unclean hit. That might be the end. That may be just a smooth, smooth match for Tiafi as the Requiem on his last with Oof. Shimmy as well. And funnily enough, it's not even the first time that your Requiem dies to Shimmy. So I think he has... A record on how many shimmies he's hit on stream. Normally, the aggressive kind of player, the Esper player in this region, but TFP was just so so solid, avoiding a lot of the dash out ranges and using Balao's full range kit. So, at longer ranges, you can use Goetia really well, even if they dodge it, you can't really play against it. 
you got the far heavy for defensive situations and the best thing about a nine frame heavy is that advancing i forgot nine frame advancing heavy is that it crushes a lot of buttons which is really what you want on defense just like a really fast crush button you also got 2l which is five frames punishing things that you normally can and really good abare tfe using that's a great effect nicely done next one we're gonna have sozu versus first hour uh hope the lag is not gonna hit them this time around hope sozu is plugged in <laughs> oh um well no you you can't whip punish that far heavy it's just not the only way you whiff punish it like quote whiff punish it is through dodging which is not really a whiff punish at that point if you think about it you have to car call it out really hard and uh if you want to play against belials in ranked it is a good idea to catch them doing 2m for heavy autopilot even though it's reactable with a on a counter hit but if you dodge it, you get a full combo. That's all right. But the thing is, who is really going to do that? They're going to do 2M into dash out, which covers the timing of the dodge. Unless they're too fast. That's the funny part. You can be too fast by doing 2M into like dash out, dash out too fast. And then you will miss the dodge punish. But it is extremely hard, exceedingly hard to punish. And I recommend if you're um, a bit laggy or if you have any Neko issues to play on Colosseum. Port Breezes uh, for the people with good pieces. Nice whiff punish. New Vorpal Blade does not allow a juggle, but still a very essential part of Jita's kit. First hour with the nice Abara with the 2U. Grand Sweep is one of the best in the game after all. Do not sleep on it. Low profiles, projectiles, seven frames, super long reach. And he has a really good view about this. And nice try on the M breaking lip. I love that idea. First hour, really using Grand Stoolkin. But so is getting a lot of frame traps and just slowly chipping out on first hour. Still has a lot of chances because it's grand, right? You got a lot of the damage. And so is caught buffering. It is the first hour realizes that and goes for the DP. That's really nice. Because Sozu isn't quite confirming. He's just buffering his head. And here we go. That's probably it. Much less damage than before, though. Dodging. I mean, blocking nicely, but a bit too slow. Buffering. The overdrive surge. First R still showing quite solid game so far. And Sozu DP on negative. Let's see how first hour handled this defensive situation. And the moment I said solid, he chooses a DP. Crouch confirm. Where you go for the power raise? Power raise a bit. Gets thrown in the corner. Charged up for a bit too long. And what is that? We're playing multi blood. We got the rebeat. And the DP gets made it, unfortunately. First hour goes for the delay press. Like, delay meeting. Both players just could to spend their eternal energy. Scramble, left and right. Sozu on zero BP. One hit can kill him, by the way. Oh my god! He's dead! Explosions! Ooh. This is blue, baby. Oh, you jump by first hour. No anti air down. And the 2M counter hit nicely done, but not gonna confirm into the corner combo. That was a full corner carry. Trashy rolled the fireball, and oh Jesus, what is happening? Everyone's just dropping their combos and two different counter hits. First hour is just mashing so much on defense. Power raise. Oh! <laughs> Catches him, trying to fuzzy, and Sozu will use that flip newly added to the patch. First hour still showing nice though. Mashing a bit too hard on defense. Gotta get those 2M counter hit confirmed. Carries the quarter special. Wow, that hurts. Alright, DB's himself out. Let's see how he'll carry it. BC used minus six. That's a free punish. And Sozu has the super. Vorpo Blade does not wall bounce anymore. Tries to get a throw bait. Crosses to the other side, but the jump was so slow. Oh, unclean hit allows for it. I was thinking if he was unclean enough. But that one was to the back. On the latest possible, probably. Battle two. Engage. Wow. 
Four for two. <laughs> a bit too funny for a sour. You can't, you can't just dodge like that. You gotta dodge what you need to. It's like sidestepping. Plus frames. No confirms. If he used that far medium, he would have gone in that confirm because far medium is actually his longest button. Seven frames as well. Sozu getting that hit. Fireball. Two one for you. And DP. Jesus, still got that damage. Gotta spend RS for it though. Goes for the empty jump low. Delay DP obviously works against that. Boom! Oh, wow! Everyone's a buddy today. Just gotta jump non-stop. Still got a chance. Drive the Basto! Run! Wait, he's gonna charge up! Level two! Okay, Hail Mary DP, that's it. <laughs> the scrambles first hour. Not like this, man. <laughs> oh, alright. Well, that is a 2 0 for Sozu, our previous winner, and is gonna go fight Big Man FPS Line. <laughs> and Oni will be fighting TFE next. So, since they finished just now, we're gonna have Oni and TFE's match first. Oni, TFE. And I think Oni guarantees himself a top four finish this time, which is really nice. Haven't seen him up there in a while. Wait, though. No. Is it top four finish? I'm pretty sure it is. Top six? Top four? Hmm? I can't calculate today. Anyway, next one. DMV versus Oni. Oni's still a bit unstable to, on the character, but I like what he's doing so far. TFE on the usual. Just about on how he can clinch the wins. Very strong player. Five. Okay. Thank you. All right, Mr. Botat. Waiting for you to get on. Oh, only going for the Beatrix, his sub pick. I haven't seen his Beatrix in a while, and I'm not sure how well he would do with Beatrix against Belial. Belial is really good tools to do with Beatrix, that's the thing. As far the Beatrix is far light is not the not the best at dealing with Belial's buttons. You actually want something that hits relatively to the middle or lower against Belial because he low pros a lot. Like he has a lot of crushing buttons. He wants some reach against him. But reach is irrelevant with that far heavy, which makes it so, so difficult to play against Belial. Let's see how Oni tackles it. Down start. Oh, he's going to use that slow fireball and nice going for the Gamera Doctrine. Just gonna burn the fireballs in neutral, but unfortunately, that dash out is a bit too strong. Buttons are really good against Beatrix going and buffers that Thunderbird and successfully jumps to the other side. DFE using his DP to put Oni off. Try to catch DFE moving, and Oni actually solid defense so far, burning a lot. Of TFE's resources in the end still gets that throw and the chip damage. It is not little at all. Counter hit, no confirms and TFE. That was a million frames. Oh, dash out. No, he misses the input. That was a crucial damage point. And he uses some meter for that. Refreshes his own Delta Claw. Dodges that a bit outside the range. Oh, gotcha him. Super. Oh, what a crucial fireball hit. And Oni gets the round with Savior Unleashed. Delta Claw Enhanced. We on the enmity, boys. Counter hit. Carries the corner. TFP tries to jump out. Oni does not manage to get a clean hit. And both players using BC. A lot of harassment with the overhead. Oh, look at that far heavy, just so strong. The moment you're out of range, you just get bonked by it. And you can even special cancel the first hit. What are you pushing up for space? DP on negative and still DFE presses that far heavy. Such an oppressive button. Covers so much space forward. And it's basically a pressure starter. It's like dash out but with the crush properties right away. Oh! Presses right away. Oni misses that dash out. Catches the fuzzy throw, I think. The 
Vas-y, go Ooh, One health remaining The slide Is it coming Come back, grab Oh, he does not DP The one time he does not DP He gets hit by the command grab No <laughs> Ooh, baiting, managing to bait out that BC, which is really nice. He wasn't even plus there. Cool combo starter. Probably command grab. Yep, he misses the range. He did not go for the dash momentum. That's why he missed. TFE going for much needed. Side swap. Brave counter, counter hit as well, which is really nice. Oni does not go for a safe jab. Not Amberas short, is Amberas punch, get it right. Let's not use the far heavy, using the light button to check any potential forward movement. TFP once again gets punched in the face. Fireball not back yet. Odie tries to get a shimmy, but obviously shimmies don't work in this game if you played long enough. Close heavy starter, if only backdash, he would have been caught by the far heavy. It's such a strong button as well. Oh, no confirm! Odie, you got Misty's! You're gonna throw the round from this! Star Chaser! Oni, you can't do this! You threw the round again! Oni with no hit confirms, tosses two winning chances. One from Oki, one from hit confirming. This is why you need to practice. Oh, counter hit. TFE not confirming as well, just gonna buffer that button, give himself the pressure. Alright, get the punish. Push into the corner. That's a wall bounce. Can you get that combo? Oh, the you gotta stop dropping these combos. Let's do a dash out. Ooh, side swap. Hurts so much. Just one third of his life bar as well. And look at that chip damage. He's gonna rack up from the Protex. Gets the bait on the BC. Dashing forward. And back dash. Far heavy. The signature, right? At this point. Or the dash out. My bad. Right, Stachi, sir. Finally, a good punish by Oni. Going for the riding free here. He can choose a fireball. Depends on whether you want to spend that fireball or not. Oni fails to meet him properly. No save jabs in this town because in this region, no one is doing it. Asmodeus, look at that 40%. Catches him. No confirms. Does not react to the dodge at all. Oni's just getting bogged in the head. You could have been out of that corner if you confirm that hit. And now get a look at you now. 15% health. Delta clock available though. Don't scoff at him. Still gets baited on wake up. And that is it. Let me get on. 2-0. Nothing much to say there. I would just say stick to the BLs about. Can't miss those confirms. Those are too crucial. And as Beatrix, your pressure is actually not the best. Your pressure comes from the potential of getting hit. Like that's a different type of pressure compared to like Catalina, like where she taps you and stays in a uh, light wall range. That's kind of different. There's like the fencing, the pokey type of pressure. But Beatrix getting hit once is so devastating that the pressure is generated from just her existing, her moving forward. You don't want to get hit by her. And unfortunately, Oni got the Delta Clock. Did not convert. Did not trust their RS. And that's a really painful thing. Next one, we're gonna have Tito versus Sozu. They're going a big back FPS live. Versus Sozu. Both players on winner's semi finals. Fighting for the spot. And it's gonna be like an Indo versus Indo match in winner's finals. So, guarantee top three. For two of our Indonesian representatives. Kozaki still terrorizing the lower bracket with his avatar Belial. Just gonna smash everyone in the face, you know? Make it casual. Side note. I've been playing uh, Vasaraga recently. I think some people have seen it. 
And uh, I do think he's a really funny character. Vasaraga has a lot of really messed up tools, but he is kind of easy to play with, uh, play against if you have a relatively well-rounded character. It's just that if you make one wrong decision, he's going to be a very annoying nuisance to deal with. And learning how to play against that so forth is also the skill set in the matchup. Believe in victory. Battle one. Got Mr. Big Mac FPS Live or Tito versus Sosu here. Both players play against each other plenty often. So we're expected to see something nice over here. And the show hits prioritizing the corner carry. That's just what Jita does. And the charge hit allowing the bounce. That's the new addition of the patch after all. Jita does get good damage as long as she's not starting from her Rekka. I see if it gets the delay version. Nope. Goes for the cross up instead. Use the guard button. Ooh, nice catch. Interesting. Pressing a neutral button has been a thing that players like Baru Todek have been doing to catch players like Zenim going to the other side. Let's see if he manages to get the delay. Nope. Going for the scuff setup once again. And he is in chip range. God dodge that. One of the optimals in that situation to set up for mid screen F Shiki is for you to delay that uh, delay that ultimate seal set. So that you're low enough and when you hit them, you land as as you get the wind dash in. There are a few different routes you can take to fly towards the opponent, but the idea is still the same. You gotta delay it. So you're applying some pressure with the new power race from Jita. Admittedly still not quite grand powered. No time to set seals. Just gonna do the ultimate Vorpal Blade and Sozu should be able to finish it off because of the sheer damage Vorpal Blade provides. Alright, Tito not quite able to get his game started. Not setting any fire uh, fireballs in mid-screen, not any tornadoes, not any seals. Just playing really aggressive but not much return. Sozu carrying him to the corner every time, even on block. And that's a punish, which he misses. Kind of the movement, just like Catalina. Oh, the air unblockable. DP available and the combo limit because it started in the air. Look at that damage. Goes to the other side. Floaty jump. And no confirms from Tito. Getting that low hit but not going into the far light on the hit stun. Oof, once again in the corner. This is rough for him. Not sure if he come, can come back even with zero BP. The question is, will he die? No, he won't. Gets thrown anyway. <laughs> Seeing that throw weapon as well. Battle two. Engage. Tito really fighting some ghosts right now. And the DP will catch him trying to thrust forward. Goes with the slide. Only hard knock down early on. Look at that. In the corner once again. No seals. No nothing. Now he's got to set up, allow that extra movement. Smashes him in the face. No confirm from Sozu though. Even with the big rat counter hit. The big, big orange punish. My bad. That's the counter hit we want. <laughs> and look at that health. Slowly weathering away. Wall bounces as well. Raging strike. For Padu Braido. And one hit to finish. 2-0 to Sozu. Very, very dominant match. Not able to get started. Alright, let's see how loser side is doing. SJ Weeb will get knocked out by Saw this time around. I can beating Bambia and going to fight your Requiem. Bowser waiting for Mox and Kuozaki will be fighting our participant earlier first hour. So while we wait for those, we're gonna get our winners finals match in. It'll be Sozu versus TFE. Again, playing each other a lot. Indonesian representatives. Should be a clean match between those. TFE, get in. So this will be first to three because it is winners finals. Nothing out of the ordinary. All right, Kuozaki finishes his match. Can't wait to see which one won. The both player is quite chaotic as well. All 
All right, Kuwazaki will be the one to knock out first hour. So GG's to first hour. Nice performance shown. And we'll get to see Mr. Kuwazaki on top eight once again. Probably on the Avatar Belial. Going for Bakuga a lot. <laughs> just just gonna smash everyone until they get counter hits, right? So fun. So where is Mr. TFE? I don't want him being in rank. <laughs> Any promising Narmaya players while you're away? No, no one's playing that guy. That guy is too bad, too much of a pain in the ass to play. Why oh, will you play Narmaya when you can play uh, Beloyal? <laughs> What, now Mario has a side switch? I also got one. I can, I can just do auto combo to my fireball. What do you mean? Uh, you also got, um... Let me think, what does Narmaya have here? You got throw baits? Yeah, I got a backdash into far heavy. Crushes your fuzzy mash as well. <laughs> and keeps the opponent grounded. Did I mention that? <laughs> but I was such a menace this time. I watched that UFA match and it was holy Jesus. But funny thing is that if you want to watch uh, the UFA, it was a Belial versus... Avatar Belial, which is really, really nice. So play start, Sozu versus Tiafi. Versus I really try, try Narmaya, but she's definitely, yeah, you can try her, but like you can revisit her. That's why I would advise. She might be a character that you want to play or want to main, but she's not your main yet. That's kind of the energy I'm saying. Korewa. Ooh. Nice web punish on the dash out with the far heavy and delay far medium. And look at that TFE just pressing that heavy button on defense. Covers so much space and it is relatively safe compared to minus four. Minus four is actually not that great. Minus three is a huge difference. BB's on the power race. Nice decision by TFE and recognition. Got those reaction time stuff. But Sozu just being preemptive with those folks. And that's the new combo starter. So much damage. Yi Kanji. Indeed. Singularity versus Belial. Classic match of all time. Look at that. Sozu just keeping his distance using Fireball Shira Raz. And the dash shell will entry. Ooh, he's counter hit, but no confirm. That's a crouch hit as well, worth the meter to spare. Side switch. Look at that damage. Sozu taking more damage from from a side switch combo than an actual standing combo. Both players more or less on the same health TF. He got the defensive resources to spare. He does not need to rush. He has Belio as well, and look at that tag. He's gonna get. Two juggles in. Oh, just gonna end it with the DP. Keep himself the as he is. Safe jab won't work out because it is the ultimate. And oh, TFP could have thrown that if he responded fast enough. Minus four on dodge if you jump in. Oh, look at that medium. Oh, tries for another one, but did not go for the ultimate. I think if he did for did the ultimate as well, as he might be able to contest, but Sozu will get the first one. It's great that Sozu is really aware of the far heavy. He hasn't been clipped by those. Such a strong defensive option from Belial. So one of your best bets is to just either stay in or completely disengage, which he's doing right now. Jumps to the other side. The Grand air will hit. Do I move faster? Got a super to work with, but just one more hit, and here we go for the reset as well. Probably buffer the end of months, and you don't do throw baits like that. It's not Street Fighter. They gotta spend the brave counter. This is rising. This is how you play the game. Try to open him up with the staggers, the dodge, the block, and you have no resources left. Gotta eat that block string. You see, the moment TFE lands those far heavies or their close heavies, though, the momentum just immediately shifts because of the options available to uh, uh, just Belial. I was gonna say Avatar Belial because of the figure of that character all the time. TFE tries to get some wake up with the mash, but he will get hit into a small, small combo. So he's gonna get his cooldowns back, but 
Ooh, that that ultimate fireball was gonna be reduced damage as well. Because his fireball did not exactly come back. Super will bring him down to one. And brings uh TFE back to two. Oh, tries to delay to catch the Brave Counter potentially. TFE neutral jumping as well. Brave Counter, the Brave Counter, and one hit, boop, buffer. Into the super. Make it able! One health. Oh, I had to go at Tia. Such a good fireball. You ain't rolling that at that distance. You ain't reacting to that. And early go at Tia once again. Such a strong option. And the far heavy. Far heavy into command grab is so fast as well. Nice whip punish by Tia Oswald is. Try to get that reset. Solid combo. And the reset. Go for the delay again, you see? Delay button into far heavy. If you were going for a delay option, might as well do the, the, the slower button early and access the plus frames. The, the crush frames. Nice movement by TFE, avoiding a lot of the advancing options from Soju. Fireball is not up as well, so he has the leverage on it. Brave counter, bringing it down to one. One situation left. And oof, the damage. And easy sweep. TFE has been going for a lot of light buttons into delay heavy or delay unique. Or even delay 2M. Like you can delay any button, but for the far heavy timing, it's a bit earlier than the others. Still accessing the crush frames. Nice roll by Soju. Carry him to the corner. Catches the jump, but no. And without a large button, you can't really convert there. Tries to catch a, catch a fuzzy probably with that string. Close out into close heavy. Corner carry once again. Using the 2M to catch. Soju on 100 meter, TFE has to be careful. Still has the resources to play with, but he will get tagged trying to move forward by the far medium. Making the able. One left. Soju can play for the resource trade or just brave counter. It's brave counter if he chooses to do it. He also has the ability to just do a DP using that. Using that safe jump, I was thinking that he was gonna bait that, but TFP turning the tides around. Wait, no super, not gonna drain his BB down to zero. Chooses the position instead. Chipping down. One more throw. And the DP will get him to one out. Not quite dead yet. Backdash, rising good. And double, rising good. TFP will go 2 1 in the scramble. When Sozu went for the neutral jump, um, neutral jump, safe jump, I thought he was gonna aim for a BC bait, but he ended up going for the hit instead. TFE really using those BCs at the right time. And Sozu probably a miss input. Tries to cross to the other side, still gets a combo though, no biggie. Huge jump, what are you doing? <laughs> Where's Zeta going? There goes 50 meter. Powder head far heavy. With the crush as well, if you guys didn't see that notification. The game tells you a lot. Plus frames. Tries to go with the reset. No respect for you though. Your negative as well. Like, there is actually no respect here. Neutral jump super early on to bait the throw tech. Power raise. Oh, wow. <laughs> Mental plus frames we're playing over here. Just gonna whip the buttons. You think I'm gonna frame kill? Nah. We're in Tanaka over here. So is getting the first one. Revenge against DFE. And look at that fireball. Just so, so impressive. So, so quick. Only has DP and fireball is about to come back. Might look for a charge here. Ooh, buffer with the far medium. A bit late on the hit though. Okay, so he's weaving in and out of his range, but DFB just chucking fireballs. Luckily, he gets a counter hit on the dash out, giving that extra frame needed to connect to the far medium. Superb health advantage. And Sozu, just like earlier, went for the 
con uh, continue pressure string after the safe jump, allowing TFP to just take his turn, trying to get a shimmy and the dodge on the far heavy. No to you though. I'm gonna get this round back. Two two. Believe in victory. Battle one. No, it's match point for ball players right now. TFE opting to use the fireball early on, and those jumps are quite, quite scary. I wonder what option he was looking for. Might be the fireball, might be the warpal blade. DP on defense. TFE still has the resource advantage. There you go, first BP from him. And no save jazz for you, Souls. You really wants to keep that corner. Fuzzy mash allows him to be safe and BC afterwards. Look at those counters. You can't escape the 2M. No confirm for Tiafi though. Like that's giving so many plus frames. We're gonna be safe. Minus four. Delay button. And be back dash there. Remember, pressing close edge, same frames as far heavy. Go wait a bit. Here you go. Look at that. Tiafi covering his options, but Sozu is not falling for any of those. Nice stagger. One BP left. Both players really worry about their resources. TFE has one left. Gonna spend it right there. Oh, tries to go for the frame trial. Let's make that a mash. But the buffer on the super. Here we go. One hit. TFE one away from going to grand finals once again. Battle two. Engage. Oh. The jump happy if he gets struck once again. Backdash away. You're still minus on backdash though. Kind of beats that too hard. Tries to bait out the option with the buffer though. He's not quite reacting. And Sozu will take advantage of the wasted position because that's quite competitive. You're gonna backdash into a button. The way you extend is using a fireball after all. 90 meter on TFP's end, 1 BP left, and Sozu trying to get a cheeky cheeky grab once again. And here we go, that's why I said far heavy into the fireball is one way to both extend pressure and catch people moving. Ana Genesis! Very, very winnable from both sides, TFP, despite the health deficit. You just got to be patient on the defense. Yes, 2 BP left. Forcing Sozu to spend. He has so much of an advantage. That's a counter hit. And that's an easy kill. But he drops it. 40%. Oh, no. Nah. It's the DP. Sozu will get knocked down to losers finals. GG's to DFP. So note that, guys. If you're watching the games, you got to beware of Belial's potential. He's been using that, um, if you see a close heavy, uh, whiffing some, uh, uh, connecting sometimes on the tipper of the maximum proximity range, even backdash is not quite a good situation because it will just autocorrect. So that's something that you've got to watch out when you play against Belial, and that 2U exists as well. Although far heavy allows for a lot, a lot more options, right? You're closer, you get a cleaner, um, turn start. Like if you if you get them to block is a clean turn start. If you get them if you get a hit is a combo. That's basically it. The idea of just covering multiple options at the same time reduces a lot of the mental stress needed. All right, TFE, please get off the platform. This is calling for the train station. Tier three, please get off of the of the capital. We gotta have a uh, different players coming on. Long time no see, your Requiem. Yeah, I think it's been a while since Sod played played against him, and your Requiem wasn't there last week. Last week, uh, last time on the reschedule. Street Fighter mirror. <laughs> you mean like Ken versus Ryu, but Ken is using Ryu's color and Ryu's using Ken's color. 
So, and then we're seeing anteaters in the chat, obviously. Gotta find your where your requiem is though. He is in the He is in the tournament. He is there. Okay. Give me a second. Where uh, TFE, please get off the cabinet. What? All right, give me a bit. All right, please get off the tag cabinet after you finish your round. And UFA still a lot of seek. Yeah, uh, I think. Uh, let's see. Start, please. Start. Uh, in the EU, uh, Percival is actually a really, uh, no, not Percival, uh, what do you call that? Seafree. Seafree is a really popular character in the EU despite the changes. Japan actually not much anymore. You only got Bottle Tonic at some other place where you can. Your Requiem, funnily enough, not on the Seafree this time around, we're gonna have Belial. Indeed, I think this is a good selection because just more consistent over the ranges. Again, the far heavy and the close heavy just covers so many options on defense and also offense. Ooh, round starter, ready said. I said, with Vault Stalks, he does not care. That's not even safe a block, that's the funny part. Fuzzy Fro will catch him trying to get the command grab, and we are scrambling. All right, like, we're, we're just scrambling right away. We got DPs going, flinging around. Saw the two stocks trying to get the dash heavy hit. Like, no one ever hits that. Now, he did it two times in a row. Okay, like, I think th this is an indication of what this region is like. Bonks him in the face. Long just him for the stocks. No stocks. I take it back. Now, he does not care. That's a combo. Made more consistent by the new patch. Ooh, sneaky charge right away with the two you flip. <laughs> Look at that! that this almost just evaporate the principle. The dark horse of this patch. Just getting so many damage on Prickers now. No command grabs for you. Zed Ison! Five meters that tries to get an air grab! Everyone's just flying around the screen. That's a combo. You can connect with far medium or far heavy in that range. Boom! First round goes to Saad. <laughs> Going back to character select right away. <laughs> no, no, not screwing around with the Belial. They're gonna die right away. <laughs> Saad just plays so, so aggressive against your Requiem. And yes, Sinkri, welcome to the stream. Loki, I have to go to the toilet. But like, we're gonna have to spectate this round first. Versus Siegfried. Siegfried. Going back into the round. Your Requiem goes back on his character. Sword stays on his. And look at that range on the tipper of um, Dash M. Sword can actually get a punish provided that he's fast enough. Ooh, one button into Zed Eisen. Classic from Percival 2M as well. Your Requiem. Stagger pressure. Gonna get that throw with the first clean hit in. And look at that. He's just buffering his head. He's not even confirming that to him into his head, Ison. Get that chip damage in. Am I right? Ooh, Should be able to get the close out hit in and the super. What is in? Thank God. And look at that damage. Stone. One BB left. Sneaky, sneaky again. What was that? What was that? Just gonna end it right away. No dash out. Like, uh, we literally don't care. Ooh, Fuzzy Mash gets caught by the redash. Grab. What's he done? I thought he would go for the DP. Like a delay ultimate DP. So he wouldn't get safe trap. First of all, DP is quite slow after all. Charging up so, so much. Your Requiem has to be so, so careful now. Nice dodge. And the DP to react to the slide. That is nice. The red one. How will you keep the corner? Not against that DP. Oh! Combo! Maidu! 
Tap him. No, go first. He had the one count as well. Yo, Requiem. No. He is suffering. He could have killed him with those two hits. And the grab. No dodges for you. Got that meter available. No BC spent by your Requiem. He has so much life to play with. Might as well. Am I right? Jump reaction. Clean hit on the Swazin. Thank God. 100 meter to play with. Sawed on the chip range. And gonna get slammed by the... Bedregen. Classic Sieg sequence. 1-1. One, one. Who can out-aggress the other? Sawed versus your Requiem. Match point. And he's just dodging against demons at this point. Eat a dash out, put him in the corner, just mashing the two well. Nice. Getting that five stock as well. Car crush. Oh, the back dash. He was switching so hard there, Sod. Cooking him up. Yeah, Requiem. DP on negative. Push him to the corner. Sod, will you use a brave counter here? Bops him in the head. Nice punish. He has a DP only though. Chooses to use the fireball to push him out. But he already has so many stocks. Plus some block. Your Requiem going for the brave counter. But Saw has nothing left. He's just gonna smash his face and put himself on set point. Kinda the issue if you're playing person power and then aggressive fashion just burning your cooldowns. You don't have the resource to get the hits that you need. And look at that. Yix down. You only got DP and stock up. How will you play? See, meanwhile, still has Vay Dragon and everything. No confirms, though. That's the issue. Nice one poke. Bring him back to the same health level. And the fuzzy mass. Check. I like that. Nine meters. That by nine stocks. How will you do with it? That's one. That's two. That's so much damage. He misses the hit. Shot. The fumbler. Back dash again! No! What are you doing? Dash is for easy dodge! And oh never mind! I take it back, I thought it was gonna gonna roll through seeing that super. Playing the far buttons. Your equipment gonna get smashed in the face using the wrong dash. Popular is jumping so much. Auto confirm on that one. And free hit confirmed solid from Sod. Not choosing to go for any more Oki. Your record just amping up the offense so so much. Gets hit by the fireball on the dodge and no DP for you. Super? No, he's just gonna go for the Then I said plus some block. Oh gets him with the reset! Here we go! Saw brings it back with the flame carpet. Your requiem gets knocked out. I have not seen someone do a string so ballsy like that. <laughs> just flame carpet, just right in the face. Minimum distance, far medium. That is so unhinged. But you gotta give me a bit. I gotta hit the toilet. Scooch. And we are back. That was quick, wasn't it? Next one. We're gonna have Balza versus Kuozaki. Oh god. Oh god. I kinda I kinda can see what how this game will go. You guys know. If you're a frequent watcher of this tournament series, you'll know what's happening. Does absolute scrambles. Just like Southeast Asia. <laughs> 
Love a Percy dub. I do too. And Kozaki is gonna actually play the Grimnir against 2B, which is what Bowser is playing. 2B, 2 Bowser. You can start now. 2B versus Grimner. Grimner. Using that classic art as well. Grimnir, not everyone with an eye with an eye mask has an evil eye. Not everyone is that cool, unfortunately. Starting off with a clean punish by Balsa. I think back the clean part. He just doesn't. <laughs> Bring out the fly swatter. <laughs> Bring out the fly swatter. Like does like lo does that look like electric? Uh, elec what do you call that? Tennis bats. <gasps> oh my god, that was so funny. Maidu, creating some space for himself, still has the seals available using that dash heavy. <laughs> Operation Bouncy Castle activated. <laughs> Just gotta use that jump you. Actually, still plus up block, by the way, which is the amazing part. At first, I thought that thing was punishable. No, or if not, just minus because of how many hits it does, right? Hollows the ground. Apparently, it's still plus. And depending on what, what kind of hit you get, like what kind of hit on block you get, it can change the frame data, which is really funny. Tries to use the shock trap again. But is going to get whip punished by the geometry of Kuyozaki's movement. Carries the corner. Solid, solid play. With the medium dash. Oh, quite scary, but it's deal with. And the jump heavy hits both sides. But in turn, 2B does not, it does not have the ability to turn around. Got to force him out. But the fly swatter still exists. You cannot escape it. It is inevitable. We got a hitter. Nice dodge! No punish! Do you T-Cycle? Oh no. That's gonna hurt. Gonna use the tether to extend the cobble into the super. One BP left. Not sure if it'll kill. Kozaki, one situation left. Only hard to escape the corner with Grimnir's defensive option. Smash him in the face with that. <gasps> Four heavy overhead coming back. He's mounting it. No chip damage available for Bowser. Oh, the reset! It's gonna look for a way to enter. Tornado. Set voice to use. Not gonna allow you to move with the slinky. The silly string launcher. Kozaki will be negative one. Bowser on his way to move on. Nice. I like the idea. Kozaki slowly creeping in, but the dodge is really strong. Catches a lot of things. Including stuff after dash out. Oh, the activates the flash water at the same time as the special cancel. Gonna get that trick. Kuzaki still on the negative. When dash carry him to the corner. Oh my god, the reset into the dash medium overhead. He's not gonna bother for F Shikis. Oh. Not many people are up for the uh, Brave Counter in Vance. If you're gonna use it, might as well use it the moment you block because you're plus four the moment you, you Brave Counter the Tether and she's forced to fly in. However, Balsa still has a massive advantage over here going for the Stagger Pressure. Kuozaki, not out of the game if he didn't get counter hit. Had full meter and plenty of damage to play around. Especially with the seals, you can opt for side swap if you're if you have a good timing in position. Nice and here combo. Oh, never mind. I take it back. Oh, running in all the way with the two B dash, which is also a dodge in the game. Oh, getting a punish from the dodge, using so much of that, and you don't need to use any skill bar if you're just using it raw. Gonna push himself out. Give a bit of space and oh, that is so preemptive. And the overhead reset once again. Cool, Zaki. Dash again. Getting the throw paint. Does not get a punish though. Super right away. Balls are getting one back. Cool, Zaki. One minus. Careful, any hit can kill here. He's gonna take 20% more damage. Plus frames for Balsa. Walking back, trying to bait out a throw or a fuzzy option. Two seals on the same spot. Not sure if that's the right idea. But he's gonna look for a chance to engage. Back dash smashes him. And easy confirmed two hit for heavy. Battle three. Engage. 
Jump me right away. Balls out with the double jump. Surprisingly, we don't see Kuwazaki setting a lot of EX fireballs now for the increased duration for the CU set, but I guess he doesn't even need it. Flying back in, re engage, no confirm. And, ooh, ooh. And here, you do not escape. The plus raise forces the BC out. Both players are on the same situation. Even meter is similar for both. The shock trap once again dodges it. Nicely done by Balsa. Super as well. Slow round. Both players still have more than half to play with. Kuwazaki on the disadvantage now, though. Delay forward will catch the fuzzy mash. Dodging probably for the brave counter, but Balsa is not shy to just burn both. He has the advantage. He has the fly swatter here to free and the finish. 2 0 for Balsa on the 2B. Two zero and Balsa, classic match coming up for him. Gonna fight Oni, but meanwhile we're gonna have Tito fighting R Mr. Sod over here, the Percy earlier. Still on losers, uh, losers quarterfinals, so it'll be a first to two. We're only gonna get to first to three on losers finals. Bowser, please get off the platform. <laughs> All right, Bowser is off. Sod will be on the C3 this time around, not on the Percy. Thing is good for him. Make it, makes it easier for him, right? He has been doing mostly buffers instead of counter hit confirms with the with the uh, press ball. Believe in victory. Battle one. Engage. An early slide right away. The reward of that hit is still not exactly high, so he has to be careful. And here, that's gonna hurt. Counter hit, wrong combo though. Gotta opt for the close heavy on situations where they're right about you. Both players playing super, super aggressive right away. Going for a lot of those back dashes. You can see a bit of that Catalina inside him. Oh, goes for a DP. No confirmed. That's so many hits for you. Sod, you gotta land those. Both players just jumping around. No clean hits allowed. And the moment he flies. He gets that super in. Clean hit as well. Going for the parry every time. How will he use his dash out to deal with that? Jump in. Light button. No add here. Sol was waiting for that too. And finally a confirm. I'm glad that Sol can two hit confirm. Getting that throw slowly bringing back that life late. He still has super, so plenty to play around, but he's gonna spend one BC for that, and the movement will get caught by that DP. So I'm missing a lot of these confirms, especially the low confirms on people trying to reverse already. Now start slide once again. And oh my god, he's still doing the parry. Good decision on miss space stuff. Wall bounce. Just gonna buffer that Orcon. Oh, what is that punish? You gotta confirm your hit, son. God, do this to yourself. You had the corner. You had everything. And a punish on the CU set. Corner. Don't waste this. BC forced out. Chip damage. He's greedy. He wants more. The parry. Will not connect! Oh, nah. Overhead. One more chance. Chip him out. Gotta watch out. Minus. Saw going for the big hit. Just go. Slowly chip him out. The DB gets made it out with the movement. Saw just throwing the game again. Like Thai tradition, I swear to God. You guys like to not confirm and throw the games. 
Wow, what was that 2H for? I'm not sure myself. Carrying into the corner. Combo limit gotta watch out, but he misses that combo anyway. Counter hit in the air. Oh, he does not go for the command from follow up because that's the new thing they added in this match. Alright, once again, Sod not quite reacting correctly. His Twitch reacting to a lot of the area options against Grimnir, but that's the strength of Grimnir, just applying a lot of mental stack. And Sod does have the damage lead, but let's see if he can actually end the game off, oh, which he doesn't. He is probably dead here, provided that he does the right cobble. Just gonna go for the rising special and the finish. Oof, that is rough. Sod could have had that. <laughs> That was punishable on block as well. Jump again! Sod is crazy! He just jumped himself into the corner. Like, you're gonna pay for it now! A C3 not playing footsies. Going for the low this time. Disgusting. Into the mixer you go. And the layover head. Let's go. Tito, okay, so so strong in this match now. Sod could not place himself in a good position. Not playing solid defense. Just buffering a lot of hits, so like you see a lot of cooldowns getting thrown away. Like that Chu Yu wasn't even in that space and he's just pressing it. But that seek damage allow him to catch up a bit. Look at that spacing. It's just outside and Sod is playing so aggressively, but he's getting bitten back every time. So the projectiles down. Brave counter. Punish! No! Sod! Guess that clean hit though. And there's only one stock, so he'll eat a lot of damage here. Same health. Brave! To it! To oh my god! You are cat! What are you doing? Well, that's that. I'm gonna put the score in advance. Don't even need the finisher. So what are you doing? Guys, you just stick to one character. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <gasps> oh, man. That drop was crazy, though. He got the round. Only in Southeast Asia. That's true. You, you won't see drops like this. Right, wait, we don't drop combos. We drop rounds. We drop entire rounds where we have a 40% life lead. <laughs> All right, we're going to have the next one. And it's going to be a goofy-ass match again. It's Oni versus Bowser. Aye. Why is it always them? Why do they... Like, every game I watch from the Thai scene, they drop a combo. And if they drop a combo, they somehow manage to come back. It's like the power of the scramble. I can't stop it. Bowser, get on! Stop doing target acquired on my face. <laughs> Guys, screwing around with the TO as well. Technical! Go. I know you can hear me, Bowser. Stop Mika timing! Start the game! Thank you. <laughs> Guy had to... Guy had to make sure he sent the Mika time to Odie. So that it just bothers him a little bit before the round starts. Oh, that transition. Code <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. Beelzebub. Not the normal kind. Not the Osakana-san type, type uh, Beelzebub. If you expect to watch that kind of Beelzebub, you're in the wrong region. We're watching a Beelzebub that does dive kicks. Tether right away against the preemptive poke. And does not convert to a combo. That's a classic. Gonna watch for the shock. Does not go away on block. Will you go for the proper ender? He does. Only losing a lot of life right away. And there's the back dash. Ultimate? No. He's gonna keep his bar. Gets tapped in the toes. Should be able to finish this, but... 
<laughs> the small cobbles, right? Once again, brave counter, counter hit, allowing only to come back a bit. Still, a massive life deficit. This is gonna be exceedingly difficult. Chip damage, bring him to zero, and one silly string is is the end of it. Yeah, here you go. <laughs> one silly string. Ordered up. Too much of a life deficit right away. Only playing more aggressive round start this time. Probably more compatible with how he plays. Keeping Balsa in check and no shocks for you. Just gonna go for the frame trap. DP Ender and nice damage from Oni. Ooh, the frame trap from the JU. You thought I was doing it too high? No, it was all calculated. And the tables have turned. Balsa is the one with a massive life deficit. Going for the trap set once again. Not going for the Oki and the UD Sonic. Swing! By wings. Both players reversing the situation. Oh wow, that is a scary projectile to do. And Balsa with cancels into the into the DP itself only. In the quarter once again. Shouldn't be too strange to it, especially as a Beelzebub. Against an aggressive character, the fly swatter will hit. Ted is back. Ooh, DP. Both sides. Unique part of 2B. But balls are not quite... You play Dragon Ball. There's no reason why you failed that delay, <laughs> delay overhead. Shock Trap once again. Doop. Oni, low health. Is he gonna get baited? Balls are applying so much pressure with those web cancel normals. Suck him in. Oh, delay DP! Look at my feet! Oh, catches the dodge! And both players, similar help, tries to get the end here. Yoni Sonic will hit! Not the ultimate version, though, and no! Oh! Box him in the head! Balls are even gets a reset after that. Oni, no DP available in that situation. 1 0. What will you do? He will continue with the Beelzebub committing to the character. To be indeed is a hard character to fight, especially as Beelzebub, where you can only really stand still. Nice poke, no confirms though. Okay. Solid, solid damage from Beelzebub, as tradition. And the new patch here. You get to do that after your Unisonic. There are different cooldowns. <laughs> Look at that damage. Falls up. One health remaining. And the punish on the throw with. Early two and four, keeping him at bay. But Bowser is gonna fling his fling his large buttons. You thought Percival's was large? Two B's even is even larger. And we got an auto combo no matter the range. Three baseball bat. Going for the shock trap, trying to get some of the funny foot season. If you throw it, there's a combo, so it is quite scary. Alright, no knee. Must have noticed the dodges. Will he use the ultimate chaos caliber there? No way he hasn't noticed it. But Balsa juking him out using the back dash into the super. Equal footing, Balsa with the set point right here. It's quite extreme for both players. They're either like dominating the match or they're getting smashed. Dwing. The shock. Tether. And the damage, look at that! Oh, dear. it's such a tough situation and he jumps so much. Balsa, very comfortable with that Oki situation and he's willing to trade there. Got so much to work with. Even if the DP misses, he's got all the life to play with. Another BC, don't mind me. And Oni will get chipped out. SSBA range. Where he forced him to dodge. He's just flying there. You gotta stay up for long. You gotta do this to yourself. Balsa, zero PP. <laughs> what is he doing up there? Still, got a lot to play with. 86 meter. No DP, he goes for the throw deck. Balsa, you can survive this. Smacks in the face. No anti airs from Balsa. Goes for the ultimate fireball. The tether gets punished, and Oni will come back from this. 
<laughs> Balls had decided to be a little funny in that last situation with the flow. Just deletes his entire health bar. Subasa yo. Classic button. In vanilla, you must have gotten super annoyed by that button. Silly string pushing himself a bit. Oh, Oni probably tried to do a unisonic there. It looks like a mano input. He jumped backwards as well. Oh, it catches him trying to do a reversal or a jump. Setting the trap once again, not even using the ultimate version. Shock trap. Comfortable, comfortable win. Bowser really likes to set that shock trap and force the opponents to guess. Especially when they try to reset their turn. They usually don't commit to the to the uh, mashes or the pokes. Therefore, when they reset against Balsa, he just pops it. Even if it's a trade, he gets a full combo. So only getting some good damage on the pokes this time around. Earlier, he wasn't really getting a lot. Catching the jump this time on the plus frame fireball. Ooh, nice smash! What combo will you go for? Fireball? I right, gotta go for the DP just to be safe. And he has a lot of life to play with. Tries to press a large button on the dodge. You're still plus there, but Bowser manages to take his turn. Sansei Roll got way wrong. Wrong game. 100 meter. Oni, how will you tackle this defensive situation? Dashes forward, 60 stage. The trap plus range being used. DP on the auto attacks. Not a lot of damage though. And the suck on the air hit. Return to sender. Match born for both. Huge counter by Balsa. Such a huge lead with this. He tries to go for a reset and he gets the bash it. He gets the counter in. Balsa is not Balsa without a reset after all. Gets the hit. No confirm. He could have won the game from that, but just bashes right away. Balsa, raging strike. Hammer slam. One, two, three. Ender. <laughs> One situation left for Oni. Balsa just gonna jump around. Miss times the Gios Caliber. He is 50 meter down now. Oni teleports in, tries to get something rolling, but gets baited by the back dash. The throw that comes out. Balsa will move on. One step back. One round forward. GG's to Oni and his Bielsa Bob. Balsa will continue to play in losers' Sebi finals. Nice try from Oni though. Appreciate the appreciate his new character. Haven't seen it in a while after all. This is first to two, reminder for the players. And there will be a loser's semis. Let me check the player positions. Will be Balls out on player two. Yep, both players are ready. Stand by. The EX bomb trade is something, yeah. Yeah, I didn't have to like commit. And she still has to do something in the block string, so you can actually frame trap her, which you did. It's just that when you're going for poke, 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 like for example, like you do dash out, wait a bit to see if she pops the thing, or you poke him, and then try to poke again with something like a 2M, you get traded and you get shocked up. That's the situation that makes it so, so difficult to play with 2B. She is badass indeed. <laughs> such a cool, <laughs> such a cool, cool character. I love two new characters like that. Tito versus Bowser. Chaos versus not so chaotic. 
Let's see if the Mad Cyclone can control the Madness himself. Gets the shot into the combo. Knock early on is the baseball in the corner. No combo though. Gets the reset. You can see him mashing as well. Gonna get that meter gain. And you can only Brave Counter at the end. Delay overhead. Grimnir, you're not the only one who has it. I have it too. Oh, and another mash. And Balsa just steamrolling the round. Grappler mindset, I swear to God. It's just so hard to play against. Alright. Mental reset. Take a breath. Balsa playing far. And again, you don't need resources to use that dash, that evade. Tries to get the bait. Nice decision from Mr. Tito over here. Nice decision. Seeing those matches earlier, both players trading so much space. And the shot. No, you don't move. Whiff cancels. Gets whiff punished. But Bowser will still get a solid hit nonetheless. Oh! Catches the thrust. The ultimate. That's not a good situation for him. He doesn't have DP available. He has to Brave Counter. Runs up and froze against Bowser. Second time. Put him in the corner. Tries to go for first. Gambler meets Gambler. Anti-air. Easy finish with the super. Backdash. Gets caught pressing a button with the far heavy. Look at that corner control. That fireball just has so much utility. What hits him with the guilty cyclone? Oh, never mind. Gets popped up in the air. Tries to jump. Probably the float, but gets reset by the ender. Bowser just full sending it. And speaking of full sends. Two, three. Looks a bit far, but still gets it. Look at that health. Look at how much damage. 2B. Oh. Pop. Tries to get a float, but he wasn't quite close enough. He mashes against the Raging Strike. And the first one will go to Tito. Balsa actually had a lot of good situations, a lot of good hits. A lot of correct guesses as well, but he does not convert them or just mis-executes on those decisions. Had a lot of control early on, but there's not a lot of confidence or the stability to go along with it. Nice 2 0 into throw, change up the frame data. Oh, F Shiki! Go for a reset. Has time to set the CUs. Or maybe he will do it in the air. Who knows? Overhead counter hit. You know what? Knockdown. Bowser setting up the trap. Giving himself the plus range, but not a lot to work with anymore. And the jump gets caught by the dash. Battle 2. A lot of that control just evaporating from the previous round. Not quite confident like anymore, but the tether not often used catches Tito. Nice use of the float momentum along with the 2 and 4 aerial action to flow himself out. Pushes to the corner with the ultimate version of the dash. Reset on the fuzzy mash. No confirms though, and oh, the scramble. Oh, guess that punish. That was a bit ambitious on Mr. Big Mac FPS. Gonna lose all of his bravery points over there. And that was a small combo starter as well. Half health gone. Oh, the slide, Bosa. Not careful, but he gets... No, that's the wrong combo, Bosa. What are you doing? Gets blocked in the head. Oh my God. That is not the right combo. Well, that's that. Uh, Great job. Like, th this is how all these matches end up. Uh, <laughs> I, I was looking at his meter. I was thinking, he's probably going to Raging Strike, isn't he? <laughs> he's probably going to Raging Strike not knowing that he had not enough meter to go around with it. <laughs> but here you go. Nice try to Balsa. Next one, it will be Tito versus Zozu. So we have an Indonesian top three. Good stuff, guys. So it will be a password, Zoe, Sozu versus Tito. And is this a rematch? Let's make sure. It is a rematch. And even the same 
All right, it's reverse player position. So that's what I'm talking about. Uh, swap. So it'll be Soulzu on the Jita versus Mr. Big Mac FPS Live on player two. This will be first to three because of this. Losers finals after all. Versus Grimner. Yeah, it happens. Uh, dropping combos is like Bowser's specialty. He knows it himself. I think he knows it clearer than anyone else. <laughs> Going for the dash. Aggressive play once again. And let's see if Tito can get anything started this time around. He's been doing a lot of back dashes. Not a lot of proactive play. And this time we see some throws, which is really nice. Maybe he has warmed up to it. So was you giving himself, yeah, giving him a taste of his own medicine with the throws as well. Not going to go for the seal sets as a priority, but in turn, he gets the Oki. He gets the corner position. Delay overhead. Nope. But I get that DP, deny that mix up option. Going for a lot of these staggers, a lot of these resets, but not a string that can com be comboed with. And speaking of combos, you get one right now. Super is available. Gotta watch out for the combo limit. Nice two hit into the Skyfall. First round to Sozu. Let's see how he'll approach the round start in front of you again. Oh my god, what is happening? The ball player is jumping. Not often do you see a Grimner just jumping in raw. And once again, no projectiles in round start, not a backdash. Tito chooses to be aggressive and all oh, its cooldowns are available. Not quite able to get started over here. Nice cross cut, simple inputs, really facilitate that. Allowing him to exit the corner easily. And this should be it. Ooh. Well, go for the simple gobble and the finish. Sozu, one out of three against Big Mac at PS Live. Believe in victory. Battle one. If there's anything that needs to change, it's definitely the seal presence in the mid screen. Big, uh, Mr. Big Mac over here, not quite setting any of them. So, a lot of control goes to Sozu. A lot of the fireballs coming up, he can't avoid those. I like what you see. Even with Zenith versus Barutorek, he has been doing a lot of seal sets as a priority against the C3 matchup. Alright, going for the upper wrist. The bait. In turn, loses his turns. But Super will allow him to punish. No! Sozu. A lot of life needed to catch up. And look at those seals just allowing him to play the neutral so, so differently. The power of the seals. Just like Bang, just like the uh, other, uh, just like Answer, like some other characters and other fighting games. The key thing is agency and timing. You can choose whenever you want to go in, but now Mr. Tito is not able to do that. Nice buffer, get himself out of the corner, but Sozu will do that himself, getting that ultimate Vorpal Blade and additional damage off that. Throws to the corner, good situation for him. Strike throw, will go for the safe jump. Oh, one hit into... Wow, we're playing... We're playing... In, we're playing vanilla, guys. One hit into super. Not the most optimal damage-wise. Oh, the third loss there. That's rough. Brave counter. Three of them available, but... Sozu baits it. Gets the throw. Faking the Ibu early on. Such a good projectile, but... Big Mac is not playing against the cooldown. He's really not playing around it. You can opt to set up a fireball of yourself or play your own fireball game when the cooldown is off. But Sozu playing really aggressive, not giving any time for the Grimmier to set up. Oh yes, this is what I've been talking about. Using that far heavy space out. It's really strong against Brave Counter. And he's not taking those throws. Ooh, the counter hit does not in have enough meter and Sozu still finishes off that round and Tito not able to defend quite well not able to set up stuff in neutral and play the Grimnir game moves back a bit finally getting that set up giving him so many more possibilities to play in neutral Sozu however gets that DP and puts Tito in the corner nice fight back cross him to the other side caught not using the block but the buddy got a goose off not the right position. Probably wanted that windshield to move himself forward. <laughs> DB is just gonna go left and right. Sozu trying to get his turn back. Taking more risk. Just mashing there. And somehow getting the whiff punish on Tito. Tries to dodge. Not sure what he was dodging. Maybe the fireball. 
Bash on reset. Oof. Zero, uh, one BB left. 20% more damage. One guess left. Mashes right away. You can't do that goofy stuff on me, not Tanaka. A nice round finisher, just like what Zenith did. Once again, round star fireball. Tito opts to go in instead of using his own. But here you have the fireball into the set, giving yourself more chances. You think that's light cyclone though? Counter hit. Purple blade, no conversions. Just abated. Nicely done by Zozu. Look at the resources, just both players trading left and right. But in the end, Tito is the one with a negative. He's trying to get some openings with the Chevy Bage, but Soldier just pressing at the right time, having so many resources. Throws right away though from Tito. Very good choice. That fireball, ultimate fireball in the corner. It is really good because if you catch a throw bait timing, the throw tech timing. It allows you to counter hit launch them in the corner, but throwing right away will be that finish for Tito and he will proceed to go to the next round Not quite going 3-0 out yet fighting for second place Changing it up this time Soldier using the dash out and reacting to the thrust as always nicely done Nice run up. I like that idea setting the fireball not quite getting any mileage out of it. Still gets the thrust from the two hit confirmed. Very confident and easy. But no cyclone to convert. And he's getting thrown non-stop. Finally using that be easy to get out. But that is not a safe jump. You're playing Grimnir after all. That jump is too floaty. And brave counter. Brave counter. More brave counters. And a super odd negative will get himself back one. SSBA as well. Look at that damage. DP baited. Both players are just screwing around at this point. <laughs> Spending so many resources on defense and the gamblers. Battle two. Engage. Their early fireball set. Not being early seal set. Giving him so many more chances to bring him to the corner. Look at this. The difference that Grimnir has when he has this use up. Brave counter forced out. Position swap. And Sozu looking to get a strike throw. Makes up coming up. Getting that throw in. Has that power raise. Throw into the corner. Get it back. Overhead. Nice punish, but no conversions. And DP once again. Sozu has hit so many DPs in this set. Confused on where to block. Con not using the guard button. Big Mac FPS Live gets domed. Brave counter has been such a strong option in this set, just trading non-stop. Ooh, that's a fuzzy mask call with the close heavy. Zuikeki! Fireball will come back from commission, but... Oof, try, probably try to guess a throw or a flip. Sozu does get a combo off though. Drops it. Oh, the face! The disrespect. That's one more time. Double seal damage is a lot. Set one more. What will you go for? The safe jump. Guilty cycle. And the comeback from Big Bang FPS Live. 2 2. Rematch right away. Adrenaline in on his peak. Look at the difference. Setting it up, giving himself more space. But regardless, Zozu managing to force his way in very nicely. That's a punish. Push himself out a little bit. Get the bait. Oh, he was too focused on exiting the corner. Still gets the combo with the ultimate. Set. Oh, throw a bit too early. A lot of throw protection on wake up after all. Still manages to get out of the corner, which is nice. Oh my god, what was that? Oh, you know, man, he's back in. <laughs> <laughs> Grimnir players, man. Bonked in the face. Smushed by the dash L. What a time! Soda! Just reversal on reversal. 
match one for Zozu. Determination. Whether Mr. Tito can get his stuff set up on time. Right now, he has no space. EX Fireball is out. He's moving backwards against it. Not rolling. Not dodging. Because of the charge timing, right? Brave counter gets baited. Nicely done. No meter to do 2 to you. And the reversal will come and still has a substantial life lead. Uses his own. Set to put. No, he's gonna use that one seal, but he's gonna lose everything afterwards. That JU is gonna dome him for doing the 2 H. Ultimate Fireball counter hit. Launch in the corner. He gets. No, in a meter. 52 now. He gets the hit. Scrambling from both players. Big Bang and VS Live. One meter left. Chip Rage runs up DP. And the clutch. From Tito. Not confirming a delay of points. Everyone's just scrambling. And it will be a match point for both players. Last round, last game. Gonna tap each other in the toes. Not gonna go for anything. Cometo, especially that end here. Just gonna go for the air unblockable to be safe. Runs up, re grabs. Dendo gets a Kai and throw in the corner. Gotta watch out for the throw bait. Instant overhead! Dash it! Give yourself more time for the cooldown! And the CU set is online! Low! Here we go! <laughs> Saw that double low dash! Immediately new! Super available! it! And that will be it! Big Mac FPS Live will come back from this set to finish it off going to Grand Finals and getting the run back! Nicely done by Tito for the comeback. 3 2. Last one, we're gonna have TFE, our usual turn the 30 contest. Let's see if he can finish this off. He hasn't won in a while, so this might be a good one for him to bag in. So Tito will be on the loser side. His name is super long. So I'm gonna see if I can fit in the L. In there. Oh, you can. You can barely fit it. So this will be grand. Hope everyone has had a great time. As long as he doesn't choke yet. Not the first time that he has uh, choked out a position. But I believe that he can nail this down. Funnily enough, TFE will be on the Jita. Let's see if we get any with Vegeta. Oof. Different playstyle for sure. Vegeta, much more reactive compared to Belial. So <laughs> Rip UF, UFA Grand Finals. It will be funny. And I think Kuozaki is the one on the Abo. Don't think I've seen Tito on the Abo. All right, Grand Finals, here we go. TFE versus Big Man FPS Live. TFE rocking that classic combo. I vouch for that combo. Let's see how well he can do a Jita sketch. No advancing far heavy, but still, nonetheless, the same fundamentals that you will apply for any character. Get smashed in the face. No easy way to continue that pressure string and eating a lot of damage right away. Delay overhead. Oh, huge, huge and here. That's gonna hurt quite a bit. That's the corner. And skipping out the fireball because of the combo limit. Solid round from Tito. Grimnir, one of those characters with true mix-ups in those games. This game. Oh, no counter hit confirmed by EFB as far out into the 2M. And two hit confirmed, also not there from Mr. Big Mac at PS Live. They didn't have the 214 ready, so he just sets out the fireball. Ooh, gets the throw, not backwards though. TFE still has a lot of life to play play against. No punish, and he's gonna get hit by the super unclean hit though. Now I'm in a Brave counter, the brave counter. The gameplay of Rising. And ooh, the reaction with the Rambu super. Taking the Ibu. 
Zero BB on the side of Tito. Both players using the fireball. See you said, give himself the time and neutral jump. What a play by TFE. <laughs> Expecting that advancing attacks. A, a favorite at this point for Tito. Getting that counter hit. Moving forward. Vorpo Blake catches him trying to move in the corner. Tito has known this situation in the past couple matches. He does not want to be in here. He has the meter to play with, has the cooldowns, but will he survive? He's getting pushed back in. EX pushes himself out, has the Seuss move in, reacts with the super. Asashi no Ogi! Brave counter in. Tiafi on half health life lead. Back back at PS Live. DP on negative once again. We're going for the SSBA this time around. Endo Tempestal. Trying to catch up moving around. Punish from Tiafi and that's an easy finish. 1 0 against Edo. Trying to take the risk against the dash overhead. Unfortunately, does not work out, and that's the cost you pay, right? You got a small return for that overhead. Thank you for raiding as well. See why I cry. Oh, I go for both? Did not do anything afterwards. The frame data doesn't really support it as well. TFP probably mixed it up, and that is gonna be a massive punisher. Delay overhead. We go with delay overhead again. Yes, he does. The moment as a spectator, you can hear those movements. You can hear, tell the timing. But as a player, you ain't looking out for that. You gotta guess. Ooh, all right. Using the medium thrust to get a punish in. And TFV getting that dash out. Tipper, relatively later frames for the two uh, far medium connect on the counter. -head. Was kind of inconcise of that, but you get the point. TFV losing quite a bit of health, getting the throw back in though. Tries to bait out with the back dash. Unfortunately, Jita does not have a lot of ways to extend pressure on that other than her fireball. Oh, confirm! Finally, he does. Why they're not doing the funny? I want to see the cutscene. TFV, hundred meters to go. Will he end here? Oh, huge dash in, but the throw does not connect. It was just a bit too far. A bit of a shorter dash out distance than usual. Ooh. Once again, TFE missing a lot of these throws probably due to Jita's dash out difference. But for a larger window for the stagger, once again, Tito manages to get a hard knockdown, reverses the position out of the corner. Getting more of those C's now. Still has the fireball cooldown ready and tries to re-engage. Does not want to be too close to the corner even if he ends up being negative. But anyway, Jita will bring you there. Brave counter gonna come through. TFE reacting to that super, but they passed that out. You can't do that anymore. Not this patch. Reset. Bit of a missed combo there. I thought it would go for the go for the cyclone right away, but. Just gonna end up with an unclean head super. Has to play the game a bit longer. Still quite doable though. TFE does not have a lot of ways to generate meter other than the quarter carry. Fuzzy grab. And no jumping for you. I wonder if Tito's gonna notice those uh, fuzzy grabs and go to snipe them even more. He has been trying to go for a lot of dash out grabs and also grabs on defense. Nice timing on that dash out. Reset with the far L into dash out. Catches him trying to move. No, you don't. 100 meter. Ooh, charges up at the wrong time right as the combo drops. So you're going to get smashed in the face there. Gets punished. TFE eating a full combo and a mix up. Will you go for a super? No, you go for a mix up. That's a low. You can see that downwards movement. No buffers. Jumps out of the corner. Try to get a hit. And just a light tap. No conversion. Ooh. 
out. That's a finish. Dito going 2-1 against the Will For the EFV swap to wrap up. No, he won't. He will stick on the character. Oh, done the dodge on that a bit risky and once again another punish DMV has been doing so many fuzzy options soft knockdown get himself timing and look at that dash out doing so much work just pushing the Grimnir to the corner got no meterless DP to work with super also available not gonna use that yet uh, just teeny teeny tiny little damage from Jeter the value is in the corner after all Ooh. <laughs> JU Shoto JU Able to contest just so many things. Going up for the throw. Will you go for it one more time? TFE tries to move out, tries to backdash or jump. Gets tagged by the low. That far out was just so, so useful. Once again, the dash. Tito really likes that button. Vulnerable to a lot of the fireballs, a lot of Jita smokes though. But that dash. Oh, the free trip with. The 2 1 4 H. Oh, nah. <gasps> TFV has got his thrown off balance. He gets the super here as well. Yowch. One situation left for the reset. Gonna dash twice. Tries to jump to get a reset. Got so much out to play with. It's so hard for Gita to come back from this. Oh, and here you go. There's the reset. TFV just screwing around with the Jita. It wasn't it. So we're gonna move into a reset. TFV will be on loser's side. Oh, that dodge. Quite scary. Can't just dodge randomly after all. Over the slide again. Not much value if you hit it. One of Grimnir's weaker buttons, arguably. Alright, minus two. And I'm still not confirming he's the red card. Fireball there does not lead to anything and also loses your pressure option. So TFP isn't able to get out of the corner. Just getting hit here. And awkward. <laughs> awkward end there. And that's the buttons for the throw deck. The grab blue handshake. That meter ain't gonna be any useful. Dying with a hundred meter and three diamonds. Starting off with the slide once again. TFP not aiming for the web punish or reacting accordingly. Dash out dispenser. Here we go. Plus one on hit. And the backdash from Grimnir just so so threatening. Gives himself a lot of space. Minus two gives himself a bit of space though. Hey! Goes to the other side, misses, and oh, you can tell that wasn't a buffer. He was just mashing that special input. And not going for the ultimate record as well. Tries to get a frame trap here with the spacing. But DFE will go for a raging strike combo. Deeper. Making the evil. Oh, bashes up, wake up. Not much to say here, just a typical Jita round. Except with a few drop conversions and some gnarly situations. Of course, a slide once again. Not even that plus on hit, if I recall correctly. Someone can fact check that for me. Counter hit goes into the Vorpal Blade. Probably buffer that anyway. Out of the corner. Has those seals ready? Connecting a bit too far, a bit too slow for the hit stun. Set more seals. Reposition himself. One. Oh, what? He didn't go for the seals. And he's just gonna miss all these converts. You don't do that on DFE, but he does not punish correctly. He's not on Belial. He does not know. Total kid. Oh, wow. We're just scrambling in neutral. We got no confirms over here. All right. Decent combo for the damage of Vorpal Blade. The backdash, no punish once again! What is happening in this grand finals, dude? <laughs> Delay overhead. Okay. Ultimate. 
Harnong down and one more guess for both players. Oh, that's one us. Oh, wait, what? Oh, nah. DFE scrambling a bit too much, playing around. Oh, the DP! Deep. The scramble. All right, then. It'll be one for Mr. Big Mac over here. Believe in victory. Yes, I agree. It's floating around, sliding around. Okay, into the middle. So that's the fireball to play with. Let's see how TFE uses it. Either, all right, the tr I was gonna say when he's gonna use the raw charge one in neutral because it gives Jita a lot of space, especially when her dash out is not the longest compared to other characters. Has a hundred meter to work with. He's gonna use it. Go for the classic combo. No reversal for you. Or a no movement. Classic into the super. Make your neighbor. Alright, stand around. DFE coming back. Slowly. I use those fireballs. Huge jump in. No end here from Tito, even though he has been landing those consistently early on. Tries to get a shimmy. And the problem with that string is that you're not going to connect from the fireball. Like, if they're pro teching, especially uh, when they're standing, right? As a pro tech, you're going to go for, for every fireball and you're not going to be able to combo. And here he tries to get another variant. That's the more common one, the more orthodox one. That backdash into Vorpal Blade, you at least get a combo from that. TFE maintaining his situation, does not need to play risky at all. And Tito not quite getting those tipper distances, so he won't get the dash heavy anyway. He's also not getting uh, those confirms into the far out. This time he does, but drops the combo, finishes. And wow, we're gonna have a little slop in this grand finals in general. Gonna have to, have to depend on these players. Let's see what happens. Dash medium finally represented. Took long enough for Jita's one to show up. Go for the unclean hit DP. A bit late on the charge. You gotta special cancel them. Ultimate DP. No. Safe jab allowed. And the poke to M. Very strong button. Oh, what is happening? Jesus Christ. DP is getting put in the corner and getting mauled right now. Two, three. Oh, drops it. And oh, Jesus Christ. What is happening? Alright, ultimate. What? No, no, no Vorpal Blade? He's not even gonna go for the hard knockdown. Well, now he uses it, but he's minus four. Alright, uh, uh, guess that's that. Look at two hit. Raging Strike. That's our starter. TFE still not really using a lot of the fireballs. Playing super aggressive. Like that's your jump. I understand that Shodo jump is really strong, but gotta represent other things. Gotta watch out. Delay timing on the far heavy. Counter hit, no confirmed. That thing freezes the entire screen as well. Oh, catches him trying to move forward. And no, what is happening? No ultimate to create the wall bounce or buy time for his own strength. And what? Huh? What is happening here? Nah. Getting that one hit. Get that super. Please end this. <laughs> this grand finals reset, by the way. This is grand finals reset. DP, Sander Affair, and using the 2 of 4 to counter book. Alright, going for the DP. A brave countering out. Oh, goes to the other side. That's a strange situation. D 
BC does not get used by Yuffie to keep him in the corner, so he's gonna get pushed back and a lot of damage getting consumed. And Tito, speaking of corner position, puts himself back in. Why do you want to do this to yourself? Minus four, grab it in the corner. Easy punish. Uh, <gasps> he was even baited with the brave counter and backdash for a raging strike. No meter to convert. Tiffy, one health. Anything will kill him. All right, two, one, four, Tito. Oh, Jesus. What is this? We're getting, we're going, we're, we're low key getting held hostage over here. <laughs> oh my god. Maybe, maybe I should make a rule to spice things up. You gotta go with the character that you picked all the way down. <laughs> all right, back to the Belial finally. Grimner. No more, no more Jita nonsense. Oof. Please free us, I know. <laughs> oh. Finally, DFE back on the Belial, back on the character that he knows how to play. Oh, Doda! Normal combos. We get confirms in the corner now. We're back, guys! The DPT burns! Alright, oh, there goes the Goatia. And of course, movement gets caught by the two you. Here we go, Belial, and zero BP left. He's gonna smash him in the face, probably. Never mind. So what has she been sent? Frost side, kind of goofy over here. Pushes him once again. No damage multiplier though. TFP still got two to remain. And what is that sequence? 2M counter hit. Kind of fooling around over here. Oh, pull him back for the counter hit. DP once again saving the Asmo. He has cooldown for the corner. And see you said you do not escape the big blue projectile. Oh, <laughs> getting that goofy reset. Do I ever pass those? Oh, well somehow misses that combo. Still has a massive life lead. Got no risk to take. DP on the Twitch reaction, bugs him in the head, and the far heavy getting the hit. We love far heavy as the Belial, of course. Could have made the character that far heavy just enabling a completely different type of play. As you can see here, it is just how it is. No, don't switch. Just play the game. You only switch once. <laughs> Engage. Engage. All right, going for the EX Fireball, winning the war, and Grimner stuck in the corner with no defensive options. Reset on there, tries to jump out. Oh, tries to use the as well. Is probably to catch a backdash. I'm not sure myself. Cannot cross up from this DP. And Brave Counter, the Brave Counter, into a button that is get, getting Brave Counter. That is rising for you. Cross himself to the other side. Solid, solid round from DFE. Thank God we're not playing around anymore. Earlier ones, this is kind of goofy. Because Magdash using those fireballs, just so much stronger compared to everyone. Maybe you can argue that Grimnir's one gives him a lot of possibilities, but it is because of the seal. Finally, a confirm from the two hit low. Reset. Oh, tries to go for the FC key. I'm pretty sure I saw a jump over there. Pulls him back for more plus frames into the grab. If he's looking strong with this situation. And look at that far heavy into the special buffer. If it gets hit, if he gets hit, it's a combo. If he blocks, it's a combo. It's a block string extender or a starter. One BP left. He's gonna get Shimmy. Tries to dodge and expect the Shimmy there. This is just gonna end right away. TFP. Finally ends this. Frees us from this grand finals. Oh. Finally. Oh. Congratulations to TFE though for winning the winning winning grand finals reset with Belio, but not quite with the Jita. Character death is a bit too big. <laughs> Woo. Alright, so let me put in the scores. It is 3-2.
for grand finals reason. Alright, let's do our usual tradition today. We ended as expected in the time close game. <laughs> True. <laughs> oh. Alright, let's go. Alright, so I'll be in. Lobby one. So let's see the distribution right here. We got we got a few tie players this time around. Unfortunate yeah, we got Oni here. Saw the Oni and Bowser. All made it in, and then we got the free in those. Got Sozu and those people. Stop hitting me! After this, we're going back to PSO2. Gonna grind that LTQ. Let's. Let me change the perspective for people to see. TFE. I don't know how long he has not won for with the thing. Last time he kind of goofed off in ranked gaming after all. All right, so we here. Let's take that screenshot. I'm gonna wait a bit for people to come. Hey, yeah. Hey, yeah. You can you can hear the the Charlotte in the background. Which lobby? There's only one lobby, right? Lobby one. All right, everyone, line up. Especially you, Bowser. <laughs> I like how Bo <laughs> Box Box is not even Box anymore. He's he's Fuon Gakumas, Shinozawa Hiro. I agree. But you got. But where's your rice ball, though, Box? Do you have your rice ball? You have changed. Do you have rice ball now? You still need it. <laughs> rice ball gonna OD. Nice. All right. So we're gonna wait it for a bit more. Take a bomb here. Let's go. <laughs> you gotta. You gotta. I'll show you the cam. You can. You can adjust your position here. Like this is the perspective we're using so that you can approximate where you are. No crap, what happened to you? What happened to you? Why are you a shark now? Huh? Are you okay? Nah, you can't hide that. You can't turn back to Jita. No, I mean near. I saw that. It's too late. Your allegiance to Your allegiance to Near. I'm doubting it now. I thought you were a full near supporter. All right, take a bomb. If you want to see your position, you are in frame. But Bowser isn't. He's trying to stand on the ball. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> He's trying to stand on top of it. Don't worry, we have Bowser trying to stand on top of it. Oh yeah, you got it. What the hell? All right, then I'm not complaining. Bowser, Bowser managed to get the ball. Good job. And let me set the angle so that like we can kind of see everyone. He did it. I agree. He did it indeed. <laughs> All right, we gotta. I'm gonna like do some small talk to stall for time uh, because No Grass said, "Give me a hang on." Right, let's see. Where is it? Okay, whatever. I, I I forgot which chat I, I saw it in. Gonna stall. So today we're gonna A, B, C, D, E, F, G. You know that guy? Every time like, I count my letters, I have to like do that in my head. <laughs> Need a minute. In one minute! How many runs can you do in Guild War? Everyone, please report your report how many runs you have done. Just to just your bench reference. Uh, Let's see. How much? How many has Celery done? Celery has done 1,664. We got, uh, we got like one point, like one point six bill, honors, and then we got Kestro or Mary, with two point, uh, no, yeah, with five point five bill. We got a, we got a slacker over here. If you can't tell, so if you're, if you know anyone that's slacking, please report to their, their guild masters each. We are not tolerant of that. If you wanna slack off and play some Final Fantasy, you need to write an apology letter. 
in advance and say that because of what reason of this raid of what prog of what parts i am not able to participate in guild war <laughs> 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 all right let's take a screenshot first and uh i don't know where when's only back to potato i don't know either let me take one of the screenshots first so this is the first one we're having <laughs> i will back to la diva <laughs> All right, took the screenshot. Everyone here, we're gonna take one more. Uh, of course, we have Grand Cipher. It's not a screenshot without the Grand Cipher. We all love the Grand Cipher. Super iconic. The potato is dead. No, it's not. You gotta be a Zeron believer. All right, let's see what uh, what our local memester artist drew up. I'm gonna save the photo. So give me a bit. Okay, so let's see what local memester has drawn, drawn up. All right. Whoops. Uh, doop. and then we're gonna move this here. Oh, uh, sorry guys. Let me let me get this in. Doop. All right. This is what you get this time around. We got the whole ass script. I think no grad, you also have to mention that like the DMV is like holding the viewers hostage. They're like, let me free from this grand finals. <laughs> stop this, stop this clownery. <laughs> nah, don't worry about not drawing it good. All that matters is we get the memes. But good stuff to everyone. Congrats to DFV for finally winning another one. Uh, if he doesn't get into more incidents where he's playing ranked in the middle of, in the middle of a tournament, maybe you will get it, get it like, get it what you call it consistently you know and also we'll see you next time on who he faces in bracket but good job to everyone uh well i think every i think there's someone late okay we gotta we, i'm gonna take one more photo okay like, uh, to accommodate you guys balsa is doing his spear attacks okay I, oh deathcraft why do you move all right they're they're just playing in the background i'm not gonna take a photo of them you guys get this video vod instead. You can watch it on YouTube. Oh well, everything's uploaded on YouTube, and as always, stay blue. And see you next time. GG's to the Iffy and the other people. Bye bye. I'll be playing PSO too. <laughs>